Good day designers, uh, welcome once again to Studio DD9 Design Studio. This is Richmond speaking, your resident architect. In this video, I want to show you guys how to trace a DWG or PDF document in ARCHICAD. Uh, but before I continue, I'd like to uh, ask you guys to like, comment and subscribe to this channel because I'll be doing videos like this every week. So without any further ado, uh, as you can see here, I have a document, I have, an, I have a drawing that I made in uh, AutoCAD quite a while back and uh, I want to be showing you guys how to trace, let's say we're going to be tracing this uh, flow layout and uh, this, is the, this is what we're going to do, what I'm going to do, over, I'm just going to go ahead and delete all of this information and then I'm going to uh, go ahead and save this. Uh, onto my desktop, so I'm gonna call this uh, flow layout. <laughs> yep, and uh, I already have ArchiCAD opened here. So, what I want to do because if I go to my that's that's the document right there on my own on my desktop on my ArchiCAD, uh, I don't want to place it uh, right on top of my uh, modeling space so what I'll do is I'll go to I'll go and create a new independent worksheet and then I'll leave it as that if in fact I can even say this is the this is the trace and uh, the name would be the worksheet in fact I can be, I don't even have to do that I can leave it as a say cancel this create a new one and then instead the name will be trace instead of uh, changing the reference so I can just go ahead and create and I, he I know this is my node that I want to be using so what I can do is I can drag this you can do it multiple ways but this is the way that I prefer it I can drag and drop it this file is locked in another application I retry so uh, what's happening is that this document is currently being locked in right here so I can switch it off and then come back and drag it and drop it again now it works uh, it really doesn't matter you can save it as a, a one millimeter uh, document and then just say place and then you can just skip everything now this is the document this is the well the, the DWG which has been dropped onto the ArchiCAD uh, worksheet space. So I don't want to see these elevations that I created. So I can drag and uh, you get this uh, this, uh, the, this this menu which you can toggle. Uh, but what you want to be doing, you want to offset the edge and then you can just uh, offset the edge. As, uh, as as I'm as, as it's happening right now, as I'm showing you guys, and I just wanna well offset it just a little bit. It doesn't matter. The rest is up to you. So now I have this uh, DWG which I can uh, trace. Obviously, I cannot draw uh, any walls in ArchiCAD on the worksheet space. So I can go to the floor layout, ground floor layout, and then I can right click the. Um, the worksheet space that I was uh, that I put my DWG on, and then I can sh just click as show as a trace. Now I can trace it. So basically, that's uh, something that you can do. And then I can go ahead. And now uh, one thing you can also do is to check if uh, using well, what I did just now was I clicked M on my uh, on, on my uh, on my keyboard. Uh, or what you can do is you can go directly to this. Uh, measurement so you can click M for me M is the shortcut and then I can check if it, if it's the right size or it's the right scale so that's basically something that uh, you can do and uh, I know that my distance of my the thickness of my walls is 220 millimeters so I'm fine with that so when I, if I wanna if I want to go ahead and trace it I can just go to walls obviously I'm going to be using a single skin wall for this and then i can use a 220 wall thickness and uh, the rest is definitely up to you and i'm gonna be using the outside as my set and i can 
if it is if it's showing on the outside we can go in the opposite direction but what i like to do is just press p and then it's uh it's set basically so that's what you can do uh, when you are def when you want to trace so uh that's the dwg obviously this is just a, a sort of like a what you call this a, a drawing uh, which has just been placed on the worksheet space i think we can explode it into view yes i've exploded into view so i can uh, drag this to the side so all those lines have been traced onto my document here and then i can unselect uh suspend so i can suspend and now all these lines are individual lines and this is actually a layer uh because even in an auto get this was actually a a layer not, not necessarily a layer but it was a fill tool more specifically so i can delete that because i don't want to be tracing that so that's how you can uh trace a dwg into archicad uh, as i was uh, showing you guys uh as i was saying say i wanted to <laughs> I'm gonna open the same document in our uh, in, in, in AutoCAD again. So now what I want to do is I want to save a PDF document so I can continue to plot. Uh, and what I want to set, I want to set it as an A4, but I want to set it as a PDF first, and then I it's an A4, and uh, it's a it's portrait. So this is what I want to do, and uh, I don't want to set it as it fit right now. What I can do is under under what to plot display window, so I know that I want to only do this point right here. So I can also set up a scale one one to one hundred, which is a is a fair amount. But for this purposes, I just want to make I'm gonna make this one center and I'm gonna say fit to page so that the scale is uh, is uneven. So because I want to show you guys something, and then I can just say apply and then say okay. And then I can just go save it onto my desktop as a PDF and it's saving right now. And it's saved. So uh, I don't think I have to close this right now. Uh, so there it is right there. It's monochrome. So basically that's what it is right there. I can just go here, double click it. That's my PDF document. I can close it. I don't wanna. Uh, so I can go onto my desktop once again. I just drag it into my ArchiCAD uh, worksheet workspace, and there you go. There it is, right there. And what I can do also is I can explode it. At the same time, this PDF just move it to the side. And it has been traced onto this uh, area right here. So, but there's only one thing that is uh, is off right now. The walls are not the same size. It's 375, and uh, we want to make the walls uh, 220. So what I'm going to do, what I usually do is I say Control K. Uh, but uh, if you want to rescale, there's a, the, the resize tool for. Uh, in ArchiCAD is right here that's the icon right there i hope you can see it uh, for me i just like using shortcuts so i control k and then i just say okay and then i pick the area which i want to resize or scale once i've picked it i can just say uh, i can just tell it i can tell ArchiCAD what size i want it to be and there you go now all the walls are 220 thick and then I can go ahead and, and uh, oh, right, that's selected. I can go back to my floor layout, the ground floor layout. And then as you can see, uh, this is the right size and the PDF is not the right size. So basically well, that's what you can do. Uh, I hope this information was helpful for you guys. Uh, so like I said, like, comment and subscribe to this channel because I'll be doing videos like this every week. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, Thank you guys, goodbye.